Hello everyone! Today we'll have a small talk about NFT raffles, which also includes a tutorial how to use one. Generally, NFT raffles is an interesting gamified alternative to traditional trading and can bring some fun experience and profits to all parties involved. For seller, it provides a way to get a proper liquidity and a decent price for a certain piece of art, merging ticket funds from multiple bidders. For buyer, there's a fair chance of snagging high-tier NFT at a low price. Such raffles exist on different blockchains, of course, but so far Phantom lacked any. So when Potluck team discovered that our fellow builders in cross-chain arcade are busy with one, we were quite hyped and decided to support them in making Phantom NFT scene a bit more diverse. To make it short, why should you bother? As I've already mentioned, both people seeking to buy and sell NFTs may find very interesting propositions here. And really, wouldn't you occasionally take a chance of getting an NFT for a fraction of its floor price? Just think for yourself. Now let's get to the blatant shilling of the platform itself. Here comes JPEGO, bright new NFT raffles website. What we are bringing to the scene, I'd like to emphasize several points. First, it's artist's royalties. This is overlooked by many other projects and that is what JPEGO aims to fix. Here artists get paid, period. Fee distribution is also made clear. As for raffles integrity, JPEGO uses Chainlink VRF for verified random selection of winners and Keepers by Chainlink to keep the entire process on-chain and decentralized. These instruments have been tested and proven on the market. And if you'd like to know more, there's the info on Chainlink website. Next thing is that only certain collections are whitelisted. As a buyer, I welcome such moderation because, you know, raffles are about excitement of getting something cool and desirable, not scrolling through tons of questionable JPEGs with tiny trading volume. As for the process itself, here how it's done. If you prefer text to video, check the tutorials in the bottom of the homepage. Here's the documentation both for sellers and buyers. Otherwise, stay with me for a bit longer. Let's start with creating a raffle for the NFT to sell. And don't be surprised with emptiness on the main page, as I'm recording this video before the official launch. Connect your wallet and verify it by signing in. Then simply click on Create button. A list of your NFTs will appear. Proceed with the desirable one. Next comes the main page with raffle settings. Be attentive to set the number of tickets and their price correctly. This will be what you can earn in total, minus 12% fee. Set the time and date for the raffle to end. It is a maximum time for it to last, because when all tickets are bought, raffle is executed right away. Last step is to accept the terms and conditions. Well, better to read them first, of course. By approving the contract, you are granting access to the collection being raffled. That's not a bug, as similar thing exists in most NFT marketplaces. And your raffle is ready to go. Now it's visible on the main page and can be cancelled if you wish. Participation in the raffle is much simpler. Just choose NFT you like, set the number of tickets and buy them with your FTM funds. All your statistics can be viewed here in the Profile tab, while Overview tab contains general statistics of the platform. That's it, folks. I wish you the best of luck in common raffles. Stay well and alive.